welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another visual guy film review. I think there's a poster missing from up there. Oh, I am fresh from the cinema. I just been to see uh, X Men: Dark Phoenix, and uh, yeah, it, it was it was a cool film. It was a really really cool film. Uh, we're getting to heavy details, blah blah blah. Not heavy details. This is spoiler free. Uh, but I will say I was guilt. I was so guilty of expecting an MCU tie-in. And that was just me foolishly thinking because obviously I'm pretty sure this film had wrapped up before the uh, the whole deal with Disney and stuff went through. But I was still expecting it. And it doesn't happen. Not a spoiler because you're not all idiots like me. No spoilers. Uh, I'm going to go through this film because this film wasn't amazing. It had its downsides. Uh, but more importantly, if you've seen the film, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, we'll talk about the film together as a community. As a, as a fan base of Marvel and X-Men and movies, uh, we can have fun. I, I am rep representing the MCU. I do, and Venom. Sony deal. Uh, sponsor is Sony. Never gonna happen. It's the X-Men, Dark Phoenix. What I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, because I don't know what's going on with New Mutants, that this is the last film of the Foxverse stuff, and it will be future X-Men related, mutant related films will be in the MCU. Could be wrong, fuck knows how Disney gonna play it. But yes, X-Men Dark Phoenix is out in cinemas, uh, pretty sure worldwide now. Please go check it out. It was a really, really cool film. Um, right, let's get to the down points first of all. My biggest hindrance, right, before I criticize this person, please bear in mind, I am a talentless, uh, weird, uh, immature, overweight knobhead, right? So when I criticize this person, I probably have no right to, but Sophie Turner, uh, Sophie Turner, I'm pretty, yeah, pretty sure Game of Thrones lady, um, she plays Jean. I get nothing from your performances. I'm sorry, you just seem like every little detail, there's moments in it where she's really happy, when she's excited, when she's really sad and angry, and everything was just the same tone, apart from a few facial expressions. I'm like, yeah, I, do, I don't like you as an actor. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't judge anybody on anything because I'm such a fucking idiot. Yeah, so we took, that's the only performance in it which I thought was... was <laughs> uh, but oh my god, Michael Fassbender, uh, Jennifer Lawrence, um, James McAvoy. James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender, I, I mean, I would have said uh, the original um, Sir Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart as Charles and Magneto was the, the arm that tied together. But these two are just so good and the, the dynamic between the two is amazing and I love, I absolutely love that. I always have loved the uh, the relationship between Magneto and Professor X. I've always thought it was fucking beautiful and wonderful and amazing. Just so fucking cool. Uh, and the way these guys play it on screen is even better. You, you, you feel the bond and the history that's between the two characters uh, and the actors just bring it so much justice. Jennifer Lawrence um, as uh, Raven, cool, awesome. Jennifer Lawrence is awesome. She seems like the most funniest person ever when you watch her in interviews and stuff. I. I I like nine out of ten of her. I like an. I like a majority of her films. Downsides, but there was. A, yeah, it's still confirmed. There's two superheroes in the world I hate: Superman and Scott Summers. I still hate Scott Summers. You're just an annoying little prick who needs to fuck off. And he's beep, 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 beep. If you love Scott and you're a huge Scott Summers fan, Cyclops fan, I'm sorry. Let us know in the comments below as to why you hate Spider-Man. It's my favorite hero of all time. But yeah, he's just beep, 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 where's G? Beep, 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 I love you, G. Beep, 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 beep. Could you go away? I don't like you, but we need you here because you're part of the X-Men universe. He has had his cool moments in comics and stuff, but interested in films. And overall, I, I just don't like him. Mutants were awesome. Beasts, amazing. Uh, in fact, uh, tell a lie, right? This is this is a spoiler. This is a one and only spoiler. It's not a huge spoiler. It's not a, a massive spoiler. We get barely any Quicksilver. Them scenes lately in the X-Men films have been just the, the scenes to look forward to. And he did have a couple of the moments... But fucking hell, because they were, in this film, right, there was a lot of people just getting pushed aside and knocked out instantly. Just, just push, just wait. Oh, I'm, I'm knocked out. Where the fuck is that coming from? You just knocked out instantly. Sometimes it's justifiable. Uh, sometimes they should be knocked out when they're not. And it's, it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and uh, whatever minor gripes they have. Yeah, Jean as a whole, uh, when she got uh, infused with the Phoenix Force, the amount of times they said when, when it entered you, and I was like... That could be a sex pun. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really immature. The way she just kept going, oh, oh, it feels amazing. I love the way it feels, but I hurt people. She seemed like, 
I, lo- I like Jean Grey as a character. I like the X-Men story. I love the Phoenix, uh, uh, the times that they've played with that and her character in the Dark Phoenix as a whole. I really like that. But just seeing it on big screen, I think maybe it was because it was portrayed by her. I was just a bit like, oh. Because it was just constantly like, get out of my mind. You're on my mind. I'm the Phoenix. This feels good, but I hurt people. And I'm like, oh my God, just, just turn it up a level. I'm, I'm saying that bit and it's literally the name of the film Dark Phoenix and I'm saying it's an awesome film. It is an awesome film. It's a bit of a slow burn, uh, but you always feel like there is some kind of tension brewing and, and something is coming and we do get there. The I will just say again, not a spoiler, the train sequence when you get there, just know you're in for some real goodness. We get some new aliens. I won't spoil who they are because if you're big lovers of the comics and big lovers of the mythos and big lovers of whatever. Uh, in fact, how, when was the last time I even seen them? Anyway, there's new alien race stuff. Um, which you'll really, really appreciate to see a new interesting dynamic because the last time we explored Phoenix, it was basically uh, Phoenix here, joins the Brotherhood, and we do get to see a whole, like, sort of new OAA, uh, the beginning of the Brotherhood type thing with Magneto. Um, it was sort of the, the, the last time we seen the Phoenix in the film, X Men 3 Last Stand, was just sort of like she joined Magneto, she had to be stopped by mutants, but now it's got a different dynamic at play. It's, it's the Phoenix, it's Gene, and there's this alien race that's come. Uh, to, to stop and take over and they're going to try and manipulate and they're, going to, and they're all getting the ears of Jean Grey she's like what do I do shall I go over here shall I go over there and it's, it's all just crazy and fucked up but it's a nice little level to add to it all it was definitely a slightly different tone to the X-Men films it was a hell of a lot more heavy a uh, hell of a lot more intimate uh, a lot of character finding and searching the, you know, their inner self who, who they really are uh, what's 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 best for the mutant race and, and what's best for the for mutant future and stuff? Obviously, that's a big talking point always in X-Men comics, but I feel like it was explored a slightly different way. Charles gets brought into question a hell of a lot more. Uh, Magneto, like I said, seeing his brotherhood, um, the relationships between humans, uh, how humans are, uh, currently appreciate the X-Men and what the X-Men do and what they can do. Uh, so all that was explored really, really well. I fucking love that dynamic. Uh, the whole mutant versus people. I still have the same argument though, right? A lot of people hate mutants because they have bad powers and some of them are bad. There's no difference between like Spider-Man and his allies and people could hate them because the only difference is they were born with their powers uh, and there's still bad guys that aren't born with powers that just... There's bad guys that come from every branch. I, I, sometimes that did annoy me. But anyway, that, that didn't happen in the film. That's a side tangent. Shut up, Dan. It, like I said, it was really, really heavy. There was uh, there was some shock moments. Uh, the trailer definitely misleads. So go into that one over my. I know there was a lot of reshoots for this. Uh, visually, we, we'll, we'll take the we'll take the usual visual guy stuff off. Visually was fucking phenomenal. Uh, nine out of the ten performances were, were fucking outstanding. Um, there was a few uh, a few minor laughs, but like it was more of a heavy, serious, very one one kind of tone, but in a good way. Film. Um, the, the dynamics between characters, character development, because uh, again, these characters we already know, we've explored, we don't need to go into too much history, just we need to see how they're progressing in the, the future or their current present, because the timeline of the X-Men films it, it's, it's mental, it's crazy, fucked up, Deadpool has changed things, X-Men 123, for Days of Future Past, shenanigans going on. Uh, and I think this is potentially, like I said, because it, it kind of ends on like, uh, is it the end? Is it not the end? What they do in? So I, I went into it thinking, right, this is the end of the X-Men, the Fox West, as we know. I hope they do, uh, or they will keep the majority of the actors as they are for future films, whether that be with a Fantastic Four team up, uh, an Avengers team up, Spider-Man team up, whatever it may be. I hope they do keep a lot of the cast, because the cast are fucking awesome. It was awesome. That's the main thing. Everything was awesome. It was, yeah, it's going to get a solid... Solid 7 out of 10 for me. I mean, it's not that, like, usually I rate stuff higher than that. Because there's a few performances, so for Turner, sorry, I'm an idiot. You've, you've, you've made big bucks. You clearly have a big fan base. People do love you. I just can't buy into it. I'm sorry. Um, was I doing down points or good points there? Some of the, some of the just drawn out, like, Scott, there's a scene where Charles like, Scott, come with me because clearly you can't join in the battle just yet because you're fucking useless. Even though it is a somewhat strong power... He's just, he's just a fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> and a few of the same old drawn-up bits. I will say, actually, in Sophie Turner's defense, I don't know how much this is down to her, the, the, the visual effect on how she looked when there was um, impending doom surrounded or whatever, and you can see the phoenix rising through her and glistening through her eyes, and the way the back was blown, how she was looking and disbanding of her enemies was really fucking awesome to see. Um, all of that aspect, it was really, really cool. I still do like the character of Jean. I don't like Sophie Turner. 
I definitely would recommend. It was a nice installment for the X-Men film. And it, it's weird going into a Marvel film currently and not being as like the Spider-Man. I am beyond excited. I can't fucking wait. I'll leave the cinema saying so much shit. For the walk over me, Chris was like, yeah, that's good. It was decent, wasn't it? Yeah, it was decent. It had, had a nice bit of heart to it. It had nice little uh, soft moments. Um, it had a decent storyline. But with Spider-Man, like the MCU shit, I'm just spewing out stuff. I don't think we'll ever get... because. It's been a while since we've actually explored the X-Men. And the last X-Men, I really enjoyed uh, a a Apocalypse. A lot of people slay it and hate it. I really enjoyed it. But I think that's because I really liked Apocalypse. Um, I think the, the best thing to ever come out of the, the X-Men films, if we're counting Deadpool, we should really close this now, blah, 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 is, is Logan, though. I definitely think Logan is the best thing to come from the Fox films. And I don't think they'll ever be able to top it, apart from maybe Deadpool, because Deadpool is someone else. Pretty sure it's the end. But yes, the film. I don't know we kind of did our rundowns, but I'm going to do it again. I don't know how well I've reviewed this film. I've had a long day at work. I'm up early tomorrow. That's why you'll probably see this video the day after release day. Um, but no, I was, yeah, I was just saying fucking it's weird not to come out as pumped and excited because we still see the Marvel thing. It says in Love and Memory Stanley, it's awesome. He is an ex ex executive producer on, on the film as well. Uh, there is no cut, uh, cut scene at the end as well. I'll sell it to you now. There's no cut scene at the end, so, so don't hang around. There's, there's nothing there. There's no sound. There's, there's nothing. Um, again, maybe that's just because they weren't sure what they're doing next. They don't know how they're going to finish off everybody's stories properly or what they're doing with them next. So they, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, the down points, a few acting moments few storyline moments, few character moments, uh, and a few bits of dialogue which get overdrawn and overused, and a few action moments which are just like, come on, I'm getting knocked out so easy. But the good points, an amazing, amazing climax to the film, uh, a great, beautiful performances that you can see throughout Passover Turner, um, character um, connections like the James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender, Magneto Charles, Fucking amazing, uh, so good. Uh, the, yeah, the payoff is really, really fucking awesome. Some new um, uh, enemies that you can deal with. A couple of new mutants that we see, uh, not heavily, but a few of them. Uh, a d another look into the school, another look into the team, how the team are, they're attracted to humans. They would see there was a lot of good points as a story and as characters, and as characters makes no sense, supposed to be reviewing something, that's why I'm shit. But more importantly, I always like to end the reviews. I had fun. Did I have fun? I I really did have fun. It was awesome. Because it was a little bit of a slow burn uh, throughout moments, but uh, the intensity kept going up a level, which was really, really cool. So uh, kudos to them for that. But yeah, visuals. I think I've got everything out I needed to say uh, in some so many words. Probably really shit. Uh, I should have said that. I'm trying to, trying to sell the rest of the video. A Detective Pikachu, who is an official visual guy, if you've watched the... Uh, the news you'll know that Detective Pikachu is an official visual guy now. Maybe should put you in the logo. What do you think? Yes, sounds like a good idea. Cool. Yes, definitely go see X Men: Dark Phoenix. A, a Phoenix, a Phoenix, as soon as you can. You, I think I think the majority of audiences will leave relatively happy. Uh, I can see a few twines and a few moans and groans, and I can. To be honest, I can see why that's fair enough. But I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments below. So once you've seen the film, check this out. Me and Chris probably will have a podcast up on Sunday, I think it will be, where we'll have a more in-depth look and discussion to talk about it and what we think the future of it all may be. But yeah, visuals. Apart from that, if you did enjoy it, we'll please see a bit skin we'll see. We're gonna sit down, edit, watch Marker play and play some FNAF VR, and uh go to bed. I've got cheesy beans on toast to come soon. Um I feel like she was walking up the stairs there. She always does. She always walks up the stairs and goes, sorry. And it's like, she would have said nothing. No one heard you, but it's all good. <laughs> Visuals. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out X-Men Dark Phoenix as soon as you can. And let me know what you think. Let Chris know what you think. Uh, more importantly, Visuals. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to keep being you. Thank you for the love and support of the channel. I should shut up now. I'll start rambling. But thank you so much for the love and support of the channel. You guys have been interacting. Uh... Getting involved, having a laugh, having a giggle. Fingers crossed there's some unboxing coming up this weekend. I hope to God there is. Depends what money and stuff is saying. I hate being an adult. Visuals, thank you so much for being you. Keep being you and keep on keeping on.